these are a few members of our free ranging flock as you can see they're feeding themselves they get treats now a little bit of feed just because they're spoiled and I love them but during the warm weather months I really don't have to spend money or time feeding them at all because they do free range even though they free range they do have their designated boxes to lay their eggs so we can collect protein that way and here's several of our goats, our one-legged Pearl and her first kid rooster. They're a little difficult to see through the woods. They're clearing off brush and weeds that keep it back so we're not overgrown. They help protect our pasture areas by doing the same thing. They feed themselves and these ones are serving the purpose we intended right now. They're earning their keep by saving us time and money from having to mow and weed heat and do so much brush hogging. Pearl is also being used for a dairy goat, which she is, she is a Nigerian dwarf, which that is a breed that's known to be a dairy breed. Rooster is a cross between a Nigerian dwarf and a pygmy. His dad's here somewhere on site and he is a pygmy, which is typically used as a meat goat. You can use either type of, any type of goat, a female goat for milk or meat, just like you can with cattle. The quality and the amount will be a little bit different. The amount you get should be pretty much the same. A good quality dairy cow or dairy goat is going to give you typically more milk than from a cow or a female goat that is not designed to be dairy. Goats are typically extremely hard to keep in a fence. My grandfather used to say if you want to test out your goat fence for security go up next to it with a full bucket of water and pour it through the fence if water can get through the fence so can your goat they are amazing climbers as you can see pearl has only three good legs and she's still over 10 feet off the ground on rugged terrain so i decided i would teach them how to free range and it was surprisingly easy the 48 hours i was letting pearl roam she was the only goat at the time and buddied up with our dog which people say can't happen but they did, they buddied up and we had no fights or problems between them. And when we got not Negan, her mate, I did keep him tied up to a cinder block for 24 hours. Him being a billy and she being a female, the only two goats in the place, I didn't figure he was gonna leave her side. So it was very easy to teach him to free range. And once we got Rooster, he of course followed his mama around all day. And as we bring more goats in to their herd, they blend in with the ones that are here after a day or two and they know their boundaries and stay. You've never had a problem with one leaving the property or being destructive as long as you make sure you put your trash cans up and don't let anything loose that they can get into to harm themselves or make a huge mess. The uh, chickens are the same way. We'll introduce slowly, let them all get used to each other if they're chicks or something new I've purchased in the run. Everybody gets a chance to check each other out and they learn the routine at the barnyard and when I let them loose, I never may take off to the woods and never come back. Guineas will be a great way to protect your protein on your survival retreat. Some people call them sacrificial lambs. Makes me feel kind of sad. I prefer to call them our little barnyard assassins. They're very ugly little creatures and they're not good eating. You can eat them for a source of protein. You can eat their eggs, they're not very tasty either, and they're rather small. But they will attack mink, they will attack snakes, and generally kill them. You may lose some guineas in the process, they'll even go after a fox. And even more important, when they see your sense of threat, they are as good as any guard dog. They will start carrying on with their earth-shattering screeches, and you will know that there's a threat around. Either on two feet, four feet, or winged. So those would be worthy investment to protect your, your livestock.